raining cats and dogs today. Raining cats and dogs? Yes, it is raining cats and dogs. I don't see any cat or dog. Of course not. It's just an idiom, an expression. An expression. Right. Oh, an expression. Okay, I understand now. Hay millones de expresiones y idioms, modismos en inglés, que son los que hacen que puedas subir de un B2 a un C1. Así que hoy te traigo unos cuantitos para que no me pierdas la pista. Echa un vistazo, que te los cuento. A dime a dozen es algo que lo hay a patadas, algo que es muy abundante y por tanto pues carece de un valor especial, no es particularmente valioso. So it's something which is really common and abundant. So it doesn't have a special value. Have you seen those cheap watches at the flea market? Yes, they are a dime a dozen. Everybody has one of those. Vamos con otra. All bark, no bite. Esto sería un poco el perro ladrador poco mordedor. Se refiere a alguien que siempre está hablando y amenazando y siempre está dándoselas de súper valiente y él lo puede con todo, pero luego a la hora de la verdad, pues no cumple con nada de lo que dice. A patadas de perros ladradores por ahí. It refers to someone who talks and threatens, but then doesn't follow with actions. I heard Jack was going to challenge you to a fight. Oh, don't worry about Jake. He's all bark and no bite. A watched pot never boils. Esto es, pues, el equivalente a no por mucho madrugar amanece más temprano. It means that when you are anxiously waiting for something to happen, it seems to take Longer to occur. I've been checking my email every five minutes because I'm waiting for the answer from the shop. I understand your feeling. I know that you want to receive the email as soon as possible to confirm your shopping. But you know what they say. A watched pot never boils. So just be patient. Better safe than sorry. Más vale prevenir que curar. O como digo yo, más vale un por si acá que un pensé que. Should I bring an umbrella? Well, it might not rain, but better safe than sorry. Just let's go and take one. Blood is thicker than water. Nosotros lo que decimos es que la sangre tira. Ellos dicen que la sangre es más espesa que el agua. ¿Y qué quiere decir esto? It means that family relationships are more important than friends or any other things. I don't know if I should attend my cousin's wedding or I should go to my friend's graduation. Well, that's a tough decision. But you know, blood is thicker than water. I think this time you should attend your cousin's wedding. To be between a rock and a hot place. Esto es estar entre la espada y la pared de toda la vida. It means that you are in a very difficult situation and you have to choose between two options. So there is not an easy way out. I'm really struggling with my job. My boss wants me to keep working overtime, but I promised my family that I would just spend more time with them. Oh, it sounds like you are between the rock and a hard place. You either sacrifice time with your family or you risk your job security. To go the extra mile. Literalmente es... Ir una milla más. Ir la milla extra. This means to make an extra effort to what is required or expected in a particular situation. 
I heard you got a promotion at work. Congratulations. It was a tough competition, but I decided to go the extra mile and work over time to get the project. In for a penny, in for a pound. Esto es lo que muchos eh, decís en inglés from lost to the river. De perdidos al río. In for a penny, in for a pound. Ya te has metido de lleno en algo, se está poniendo difícil, pero mira ya, de perdidos al río, ya lo terminamos. I heard you are planning to renovate all the house. Yes, we were going to fix the kitchen only. But once we started, we realized that there were so many things to fix. So, in for a penny, in for a pound. Pues aquí te dejo estos idioms, modismos, expresiones o como lo quieras llamar. ¿Te atreves a dejarme alguno en los comentarios? Bueno, si has aprendido algo nuevo ya lo sabes. Me dejas un like y no olvides suscribirte para seguir aprendiendo más cositas en inglés. ¡Hasta pronto!